The Jets' 2023 season was absolutely annihilated because of the backup quarterback position. The Jets started four different guys for the first time since 1989. If analyst Joe Caparoso of Badlands has it his way, that's never going to happen again. He predicted that the Jets will make a veteran quarterback this offseason, quote, the highest paid backup quarterback in the NFL. Let's get into it. Zoinks. It is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gas Yates. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is joining the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gaston Sycamore, baby. For me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you. Paul, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I'm, I've, I've ever seen. I'm going to lose my gosh darn bananas. Hey everybody, Paul Weston Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boygreen25. Make sure you guys like the video, hit subscribe down below for all kinds of New York Jets content. There's also an article down below with all the juicy details on what we're about to explain. Now let's give a shout out to Joe Caparoso of Badlands who cooked up this bold prediction saying this. The Jets will make Jacoby Brissett, he's the Washington Commanders quarterback, uh, more on his quote though, the Jets will make Jacoby Brissett the highest paid backup quarterback in the NFL on a two-year contract this offseason. They will also express interest, the Jets, in Ryan Tannehill and Gardner Minshew, but ultimately will go with Brissett. Now, a lot of people could argue that uh, one of the reasons the Jets' season folded like a used lawn chair was because they didn't have a capable or viable backup quarterback this past season. Instead said, eh, Zach Wilson should work. And then, eh, Tim Boyle. And then, eh, Trevor Simeon. And then all of it was terrible. So now... There could be a market correction where the Jets go completely the other way. And I've heard some people in the comment section of this article I've already posted complain about it, saying highest paid backup quarterback. We went from not giving a flying hoot about it to now we're going to go all the way to the other side. And Joe Caparoso, beyond this bull prediction that he cooked up for uh, Badlands on Patreon, in some of his podcast episodes, he talked about on the first day of free agency, he would make this move to make Jacoby Brissett, the highest paid backup quarterback uh, in the NFL on the first day of free agency, and booyah, lock that thing in immediately. And we talked about it on uh, Boy Green Meets Woody, uh, the Tuesday afternoon live streaming show, that Jacoby Brissett would be my guy. If I could handpick any of the veteran quarterbacks that are going to be out there, and there's a lot of names, Ryan Tannehill's, Gardner Minshew's, uh, Tyrod Taylor's, you know, they go all over the place. Other guys like Joshua Dobbs and things of that nature. So it's kind of a, a varied group that is about to hit the open market. But the one that would tickle my fancy, and apparently the one the Jets have quote-unquote had their eye on for a while, according to Rich Samini of ESPN, is Jacoby Brissett. And by the way, what would this contract look like? Let me give you the quick details on that. Technically speaking, Jacoby Brissett is already the highest paid backup quarterback in the league. He's in a tie with Mitchell Trubisky. Um, Brissett just signed a one-year deal for $8 million with the Commanders this past offseason, and that $8 million average per year apparently is the highest paid backup quarterback money in the league again that is a tie with Mitchell Trubisky so that means if the Jets are going to make Brissett again the highest paid quarterback in football that's got to be at least a two-year deal for 16 million uh, plus maybe more on top of that and I'll be honest here. I, I really like Brissett in a lot of different respects. He's a guy that's gotten a ton of experience. He's been around the league. He's been on uh, several different teams. Uh, he's been on five different teams. He's appeared in over 79 games. He's made 48 starts during his eight years in the league, and he's just a solid guy. Now, you're not going to like go, is that Aaron Rodgers out there? I can't tell. Like, okay, it's not going to be that dramatic. He's not Aaron Rodgers, but he can get the ball from point A to point B, and if you need him to fill in in space, spot duty because that's what we're talking about here again if he takes over for the full Monty and Aaron Rodgers somehow got hurt again you'd feel a little bit better about the floor of this team as opposed to the epic collapse obviously that they have this past season but Brissett is a solid guy every year he's in the league he somehow makes it on the field which is kind of 
kind of a reason I almost don't want him because he is, he must have some voodoo doll under his bed or something. How else does this guy continue to get on the field? Whether it's the Patriots and the suspension, the Dolphins, uh, the Browns, the Commanders, the Colts. So Andrew Luck randomly retires. Like everywhere he goes, weird stuff happens. So maybe for that reason, we shouldn't want Brissett. But in all seriousness, this is a guy who's been around the block. He's got solid statistics from the touchdown interception ratio, completion percentage. And I think he has underrated wheels, to be honest with you. I, I don't think you will mistake him for Lamar Jackson, but he could get a little wiggle. He is enough that uh, defenses have to respect it. He would be a guy I'd like to bring in, and you just lock it down. You have Aaron Rodgers, QB1. Brissett QB2, as Joe Caparoso predicts here. And your QB3, I'm taking a, I'm taking a kid on uh, the third day of the uh, 2024 NFL draft to develop and be in the room. It can only help to be in a room with a guy like Brissett who's been around. And, of course, a guy like Aaron Rodgers, a four-time NFL MVP. So sign me the hell up. Again, this could be a market correction. Not could be, it is. It's a market correction to go from not giving a flying hoot about it last year to all the way jumping to the other side and making someone the highest paid quarterback, uh, backup quarterback in the league. That That's aggressive. But you know what? After last season, I don't blame the Jets potentially for being aggressive in these waters. And let's be honest, the Jets are not going to be the only ones looking for a backup quarterback. After 66, count that on the board, 66 quarterbacks started games this season in the entire NFL because of injuries and everything else. So when you really factor that in, it's going to be a hot, hot, hot market for backup quarterbacks. So if the Jets were playing musical chairs, da, 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 we're going around the game of musical chairs. If the Jets are a little too, you know, willy-nilly, by the time they try to plant their fat ass on a chair, there may not be a chair to sit in. So the Jets, from that perspective, have to be pretty uh, particular and aggressive about getting their veteran backup quarterback because if they miss out and the Jets have to rely upon the services of a Nick Mullins or some underwhelming option like that, we could be in the exact same position we were last year if Aaron Rodgers goes down. I'll reiterate this point. I think we can all agree, speak on the same page here. We hope Aaron Rodgers plays a full season of that. This is a moot point. That again, this uh, backup quarterback is uh, your fire extinguisher in your home. It's tornado insurance, you know? What are the chances that your house is going to get destroyed by a tornado? Probably not uh, likely, but you still have that tornado insurance just in case. That's what Jacoby Brissett is. He could be tornado insurance, volcano insurance, hurricane insurance for the Jets season. If a hurricane freaking hits this roster and takes out Aaron Rodgers from us again, well, Jacoby Brissett can hopefully hold down the fort, and I think that's how we're all feeling about that. Thanks everybody for tuning in for this quick video. Again, make sure you guys like the video. It's a free way to show your support for the show. Plus hit that subscribe button for New York Jets content. We do live shows every single day at 730. Every Tuesday and Thursday we do another live show for you at 3 o'clock. Plus we do videos just like this that crank out all the time throughout the week as well and wonderful interviews with some fun guests. We've got a couple of players on the current team that will be joining us over the next couple of weeks. So hope you guys can check that out as well. Thanks for supporting. Make sure to check out the article down below with all the other details for this video. Thanks, everybody. God bless. Take care.